Hello friends and welcome to the Southern Mountain Kitchen. Today we're going to make chicken with mushroom gravy. So what you see on my counter is what we're going to use to make the chicken, the gravy, the whole ingredients. And the best thing about this is this has such an amazing taste. It's wonderful if you're trying to serve some kind of sit down meal for a bunch of people you want to impress or even if you just want this for dinner for the fact that you want something that tastes really great this is the great meal if you love chicken possibly if you like mushrooms or whatever this actually has such a great taste and i serve mine over mashed potatoes but you could actually use this with rice or any other thing you want to add to it to make it great so let's go ahead and slice up our onion we have a medium one and we want to cut this into thinner slices we want to make sure that this is something that's going to cook up easily you don't want really big hunks of onion we just want to make sure they're thin and once they're all sliced up we need to put them in a bowl put them to the side and then we're going to cut up our mushrooms this is just basically prep time to get everything ready for actually cooking so with your mushrooms you're going to need about anywhere from 12 to 15 mushrooms and you're going to slice them thin and you can use kind of any mushrooms you want but i prefer to use these however when you're cutting them up just make sure they're not huge hunks you want these to cook cook through but you also want them to actually be thin enough to actually absorb some of the moisture from when you put them in the gravy you want them to actually cook up quite well huge hunks are going to do it so go ahead and slice through all the mushrooms and then we're going to pull out our chicken. Now we have two large chicken breasts here and we want to make sure that we cut off all the fat because we don't want fat in this. It's just not going to work. And once you get all the fat cut off of them, what we're going to do is slice them through because these are actually kind of thick, especially the one larger piece. So I want to slice it completely through the center long wise. So at least that way they're going to cook up better, but you're not going to have a large amount of chicken if you don't want a really huge piece. So we're just going to cut through it slice it into two so that way we have smaller pieces to the side if somebody wanted extra or if you wanted to put the two pieces together that are smaller to give someone another meal now once this is done we're putting a tablespoon of butter into our pan and we got this on a medium to high heat and then to this we're going to add a couple of tablespoons of olive oil and once this starts to melt the butter we're going to get ahead to get ready to put our chicken in So go ahead and move the butter around the pan until it's mostly melted. It doesn't have to be completely melted before we get to our next step. And as the temperature is coming up, we're going to add our chicken to this. Now, on my counter before, I had a half of a teaspoon of salt and a half teaspoon of pepper. Now what we're going to do is use a part of this to season over the chicken. I mean we're just going to basically take our fingers, pinch some of this out and sprinkle over the top. And we're going to cook our chicken and when we flip it we're also going to cook the other side and flip and put salt and pepper on it as well. So as you're going along salt and pepper this side, let this cook for a while, flip it because we want to really flip this maybe about three, four times to make sure that it's cooked completely through. But what we're trying to do is sear the chicken in the pan. So as the temperature comes up, we will be turning the chicken. You're gonna cook it until you get kind of like a goldenish brown outside seared look to it. And then we know we're gonna pull it out. The chicken does not have to be completely cooked. It's just gonna be mostly cooked because it'll finish cooking when we put it in the gravy at the end. So now my chicken has been seasoned on both sides. It has started to sear. And in a minute, I'm going to remove this chicken and set it aside because it can go somewhere where we can keep it warm for a few minutes until it comes back into the pan after we've made the gravy. So go ahead and remove the chicken at this point. And the chicken is mostly cooked right now. I mean, it probably only needed a couple more minutes and it would have been completely cooked anyway. So in this pan, we're using the exact same pan. We're not going to change this or anything. We're going to put three tablespoons of butter and the rest of our olive oil that we had, which is probably going to be around like three tablespoons or so, maybe four. And then we're going to let this butter melt down a little bit. And as it's melting, we're going to get ready to add our onions to this. Because as you can see, the pan is still really hot from where the chicken was in it. 
And as this butter is starting to melt, we're just going to go ahead and put the onions in on top. Now, the onions need to be in here till they become translucent, which means you're going to cook these for a few minutes. Um, probably after you've hit around the four to five minute marker, you should be in pretty good shape to move on to the next thing. So now we are going to add in minced garlic. There is at least about three tablespoons of minced garlic here. And we're going to mix this into the onion, move it around a little bit. And then once we get this to where it's starting to cook in, we're going to add our mushrooms that we sliced up earlier. And we're going to put them in and cook them. And we're going to leave them in for a few minutes because what we want the mushrooms to do is to start to cook. But also they're going to start to change color a little bit. And that's when you're going to know that you're at a good point that these have started to cook really well. Because they're going to kind of go a little brownish beige-ish looking. That means they're cooking. And that's what we're aiming for right now. Now, as this is cooking, you need to stir it around a little bit. And then we're going to add two tablespoons of flour to this. And what this is going to do is this is going to be the beginning of making the gravy. So mix it through for about a minute at least through your onions, your mushrooms, your garlic, and get it all incorporated because that's going to get rid of that floury taste that you would get if you didn't cook it enough. And then once we get that mixed in, we're going to add one and a half cups of chicken broth. But what we're going to do is add it in a little at a time. We don't want to pour the whole thing in at once because that's going to cause clumping and we don't want that. So probably just pour in about maybe a fourth of a cup or less each time you do this. So that way you just keep stirring it in. So pour it in a little, stir it up, pour it in a little, stir it up until we get it all mixed through. And as you keep mixing this, you'll start to see your gravy taking shape. Now, mind you, it will be a little on the thin side at first. As this cools down a little bit after it's cooked for a while, it will actually thicken more as it goes. Probably by the time you've cooked this for about 15 minutes, it'll thicken up quite a lot. Then when it cools down, it'll thicken up even more than that. But we want to go ahead and mix all of this through so you've gotten all your chicken broth into it. And then we're going to add some seasoning to this. So we're going to add in the leftover salt and pepper that we had before. Then we're going to add into this a fourth of a teaspoon of garlic powder and one teaspoon of oregano. And we're going to mix this completely through. And we want this temperature to come up in this pan because what we're going to do is bring this up to a boil. But in the meantime, we will be adding our chicken back into this again. So mix everything through. Make sure this is really mixed. All your seasonings through. Everything is totally mixed together. And then we're going to add back in our chicken. So get them in there. Try to get some of the um, gravy on top of them as you're mixing them in. Um, if you put some of the mushrooms on top or whatever, that's really good because you're going to keep stirring this up as it goes because you want this, like I said, to cook for almost another 15 minutes, which means that your chicken will be completely cooked. Everything in there is going to be thickening up as far as the gravy is concerned. And you just want to get it to a point where everything is mixed thoroughly through and cooked. And when it's done, you're going to serve it over whatever you want. I'm using mashed potatoes. You could actually use, like I said, rice or whatever. And put a couple pieces of chicken or one piece of chicken on top of whatever you're serving on top of. And then spoon the gravy and the mushrooms and onions over top of that. So as you're building this on your plate, it's really easy just to layer this together. And then just go ahead and pour on however much you want of this. Um, I find that it's really nice to have a bunch of the gravy with what you're eating because with the mashed potatoes it's really great because the gravy, the mashed potatoes, all of it works really great together. The mushrooms taste wonderful and so does the chicken and there's good seasoning in this. It isn't one of these things where it's harsh seasoning or too much. It just has a really wonderful taste. So as you build up your plate, you're going to get something that looks like this. And this is amazing to eat whether you're fixing this for I don't know, a group of people or you're on your own for just for dinner. It just tastes wonderful and this does reheat well. I hope you liked this video and if you did, please like and subscribe. And if you get a chance, check out my cookbooks which are available on bookstores worldwide. The first is about everyday cooking, the second is all about baking. Have a great day.